what's up guys welcome back to another video it is d wood here and today i'm going to be playing in some drugstore makeup i took a little trip to target today to see what they had i really don't shop drugstore just because i don't know i really just don't unless i hear really good things about something in the drugstore then i'll take my little tail to the drugstore but other than that i really just stick to what i know i have a lot of pro discounts and like all the makeup stores so i really it's just easiest for me to shop there but i had a lot of fun playing in this makeup today if you guys are curious to see all the products that i used and how they performed on my face stay tuned actually wait make sure that you're subscribed <laughs> All right, so I don't want to hold y'all too long, so let's get into the video. So we're going to get right into the video, y'all. I picked up, so obviously I needed a primer and like a moisturizer and stuff. Um, so I was like, hmm, let me see if I could find a good primer. And I was actually looking for this one primer from e.l.f. that people are saying it reminds them of the Hydra Grip. Y'all know I like a good, you know, primer that's going to grip but i cannot find it and i went to target by the way i got all this stuff from target um and they did not have it so i picked up this the skin hit kit which has a moisturizer a lip balm a facial oil and a primer so we are going to see i've never tried these products before and i've already opened everything but i haven't like physically opened it i just made sure like the little stickers and stuff were already unloosed so that i wouldn't waste time so I'm gonna start off with the Calm Balm Hemp Derived Cannabis Sativa Seed Oil. This whole skin hit kit from e.l.f. is cannabis and sativa and all the other stuff. So we're gonna see, actually I can't even like play it off like that. That's what really like drew me to this stuff because I saw those words and I'm like, hmm, let's see. So this is how the lip balm looks. And it doesn't have a smell. Okay, let me drop my lips off. Let me see. It literally just smells like Vaseline. Like, it smells like oil, but I don't know what oil. It doesn't feel like anything special. <laughs> okay, so now I'm going to moisturize with the Happy Hydration Cream. This also has the hemp and sativa cannabis, all of that. Um, and it looks like this. Let's see what it smells like. Again, it smells like absolutely nothing. I'm gonna just take it like a little pea size amount. Oh, it's way thicker than I was expecting. I need a little bit more. It was way thicker. Okay, so it is very moisturizing, I will say. So I'm gonna do a couple drops of the facial oil just to see what it's like. It doesn't smell like anything. I just added three drops. I like that. I will say definitely adding the oil, it feels more like a moisturizer that I'm used to. The hydration cream just seemed very, very thick, which is a good thing if you have really dry skin. I've been going through a little something with my skin lately, so it has been dry, but I'm not used to that like really thick, you know, moisturizer feeling. All right, so now I'm going to go ahead and prime with the Puff Puff Primer. What a name. And it looks like this. I'm just gonna do like a little pea size amount. And I'm just applying that to any areas that have bigger pores or may need a little bit of extra TLC. This stuff is really thick too. Y'all, my pimple is still here, so <laughs> don't judge me. Judge your mama. So that is our skin prep. And I feel 
good, honestly. I can't even lie. I do feel very moisturized. Moisturated. <laughs> I do. <laughs> I do feel very moisturized and hydrated. My lips though, they could use a bit something, you know, something a bit thicker, but that's fine. They still feel moisturized and they don't feel dry. Okay, so for foundation, and to be honest y'all, I really have never purchased like this much drugstore makeup. As far as like complexion and stuff, I've like, I, I know that sounds kind of like weird, but when I got into makeup, I just jumped right into like MAC. So yeah, like trying to find colors and stuff. And like this thing was open, like this didn't even have like a protection or anything. I just can't get with that. I need my stuff to come in like a box or you know, something. So for foundation, we're going to be doing the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless. And I got the shade 368 Deep Golden. Oh shoot, that was a lot. All right, and then I'm just going to use a little foundation brush. Huh. I don't know, it seems very sheer. Let's see. I'm gonna use my e.l.f. Ultimate Blending Brush, I believe. Let me see. Yes, I'm gonna use my e.l.f. Ultimate Blending Brush to blend this out, and I actually like it. <laughs> I was looking at it kind of side eye but I actually like it. It's very um, natural. It does, first of all, this color is actually perfect. I was not really sure because I never really had to pick um, complexion products from the drugstore, but I really like the color that I chose. Now, the coverage is very, very natural. It doesn't feel too thick, which I like. I'm here for that, because who really wants to feel caked up all the time, you know? This shade is actually perfect. So, pat myself on the back, because I did that. So today we're gonna be doing cream blush, which I haven't used cream blush in a while. So hopefully this comes out the way <laughs> I want it to. So for blush, we're gonna be doing the Milani Cheek Kiss Blush, cream blush in the color Coral Crush. Um, Let's see. I haven't even like swatched these things or anything. Now, I don't know how this product is gonna perform, so I'm just gonna use the Morphe M405. It's giving very much sheer. So every time I do cream blush, I like to do it before I do my concealer. Um, Like my under eye concealer, I just find that it makes a really beautiful like finish. So y'all know I'm blushing bronzer whore, so I'm gonna have to pile this on to get it to look like something because it's very, very sheer. And I feel like it's actually kind of picking up my foundation. Yikes. Okay, so I'm switching brushes because that brush is clearly not working. But this brush is just picking the product up. Okay, that doesn't look too bad. I actually like it, it's giving very much natural. Okay, I actually do like the way this is looking. So now I'm gonna go ahead and move on to concealers and I actually already had these in my um, kit these are the Hydrating Camel Concealers uh, from e.l.f. And today I'm going to be using the color Deep Chestnut and the color Medium Warm. This is the shade Deep Chestnut. Now I'm going to go in with the shade Medium Warm. I like a really bright highlight, y'all. I'm gonna go back in with the deep chestnut and 
just kind of add a bit of that onto my forehead. So I'm gonna go ahead and blend all of this crazy madness out with the Real Techniques setting brush. Y'all are gonna be so amazed when y'all watch this come together. Okay, so because I need a mirror and I know that one of the products that I just purchased has a mirror, I'm gonna go ahead and use that. So y'all can already see like that whole blush and under eye concealer thing is coming together. All right, so I have my under eye concealer nice and blended. I'm gonna take the brush that I used to blend out the blush, just to kind of make everything flow. I love that. Okay, and now we're gonna go ahead and blend out the nose and the forehead. So I've never been one to knock drugstore products. You would think because it's cheaper and like there's more places to get drugstore makeup that it would be like more convenient. But to me, it's not. Like you don't have nobody to help you. You really are not supposed to open up this stuff. The stuff doesn't come sealed properly. Like just take me to the, the actual makeup store. I know that the drugstore has some bomb stuff. And honestly, the type of person that I am, I really don't care about price. Like if it's bomb, I'm gonna buy it period so now i'm gonna go ahead in with the elf hydrating camo concealer and just a different shade this one that i'm using is rich ebony and then i'm gonna go ahead and blend that all together and for this, I'm just using a flat top brush from Morphe. I got it in a kit, so it really does not have a name. I'm gonna go back in with that um, e.l.f. medium warm and just hit my under eye because I really like that snatched, really bright under eye highlighted effect. While that under eye is drying down, let's go ahead and blend out this little nose contour situation. When I do my nose contour, it depends on how I want it to look because sometimes I just like straight up contour like just the bridge of my nose. And sometimes I really like to bring it into my brows. I find that doing that, it just gives it like that really snatched effect. So I went in with a little bit of the Deep Chestnut from e.l.f. just to help me really blend and snatch this nose. And I added a little bit right near the inner corner of the eyes.
this side of the face is looking super pretty. That looks good. Okay, so now that we have on our concealer, our bronze tour situation, our nose contour, our foundation, our highlight, we are going to go ahead and set the under eyes. So for this step, I went ahead and picked up the Maybelline Fit Me Loose Finishing Powder in the color 30 Medium Deep. So I'm gonna put, ooh, I'm gonna put some in the cap. And then I'm gonna use another Morphe brush that I got in a set. It looks like this. I guess you can call it a pointed taper brush. <laughs> and I'm gonna go ahead and... Okay, so that powder is actually kind of bright, which I'm not opposed to. And I actually knew it was bright like I, when I looked at the color, I'm like, okay, that's kind of bright. Um, that's why I'm doing it with the brush. Cause if I did this with a beauty sponge, I already know it would pack on so much color and so much like product. It either would come out cakey or too light. And I just did not want to take that chance. It actually looks really good though. I think I should have gotten a darker shade. Maybe the one uh, right underneath this one. But it still looks dope. Well, let's continue to set the face because you know, sometimes you just gotta ride it out and see. Got to see it through, my boy. Got to see it through. Plus, makeup is something you really just gotta wait until the whole thing is done to really be impressed. <laughs> now that I have that all set, I also purchased the Matte and Poreless uh, from Maybelline Fit Me powder in the color 360. I wanted to use this as an all over um, face powder, but I really just think it's gonna be too light. So let me see something. Okay, so it's a bit darker, but not by much. And I'm putting this over, cause I just feel like it just like, yeah, I can already see the difference. This looks way more toned down versus this side. So, But y'all, I actually am enjoying the way my face is looking so far, to be honest. Okay, okay. Alrighty, so enough chitter chatter. Let's go ahead and get into the rest of the face. Okay, so for bronzer, I picked up the Hmm, what is this even called? Oh, the pressed powder from Black Radiance and the color that I picked up was Black Coffee. I actually think that this is the darkest shade that they have. Ooh, it's very powdery. Okay, so I dipped into it one time. No, two times, I'm sorry. And then I just dipped into it again two more times. Let me see, girl, cause... Bronzer is my favorite step, blush and bronzer, girl. So this part has to be right. I like the finish though. Yeah, I really do like the finish. So while I have that product in my hand, I'm gonna go ahead and do my eyes because I'm gonna use that product on my eyes also. 
I just added the smallest dab of the e.l.f. concealer as like a base. And this is the color Deep Chestnut. Okay, and then I'm going to use a big fluffy brush from Morphe to use this kind of as an all over eyeshadow color. And I'm going to do the same thing on the bottom. And for this step, I'm just using a really fine pointer brush. Okay, so I did have to add a little bit of powder blush and I'm not gonna tell y'all what I use because it's not drugstore. So let's move on. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and spray my face down. I purchased the e.l.f. Mist and Set Spray. I've tried this before. Um. And I, I actually, the matte one, like I really did love that spray, but I could not find it. So I guess I'm gonna try the Makeup Mist and Set. This is like the original OG. And I remember when this spray used to be $3 and now it has the nerve to be five. Who told him to do that? Nobody asked for that. Elf, <laughs> the $1 brushes. Now they're three. Since when? I remember spending like $25 on e.l.f. and feeling like I just went shopping. Like, <laughs> okay, it doesn't have a smell. I actually really like when things have a scent. I don't know why, I just really do. And then I'm also gonna go over this. Um, with a little bit of the Milani, I already had this product, the Luminoso Baked Blush. I'm gonna use this kind of like a highlighter. Mm -hmm, super pretty. And I literally only dabbed into the product one time. Let me show you. I took my brush, took my product. Boop. Actually, I'm gonna add one more. Two times. Okay, so I went ahead and did my brows and my lashes. The lashes are from the beauty supply store, actually. Um, and I'm gonna go ahead and spray my face again. Whew. <coughs> Ooh, that got in my mouth. I'm gonna add a little bit of the Lash Sensational from Maybelline. And I'm gonna go back in with my Milani Blush Luminoso. And I'm gonna use it in my inner corners to give the eyes a little bit of something, something. Okay, so now my favorite part, the lip. Let's see. Okay, so for lips, I got the Maybelline Color Stay Ink Crayon. And this is in the color Drive the Future. Hmm. I've already sanitized this because it literally had nothing to like keep it closed. So I don't know if someone could have touched it, tried it on, I don't know. So I went ahead and sanitized it. And it comes with like a little sharp one on the end too. So that's pretty good. Okay, let's see. Okay, so off rip, I can already tell you I don't like the color. It's just a little too red for my liking. But I really do love the shape of this. And it's very smooth. I had to get that pinky tone off. Do not like that. Okay, um, this is Morphe Trendsetter. Can you see the difference in this brown? Like it's, it's more neutral. It doesn't have that red undertone to it. I've never liked that. See, this looks 10 times better. 
And I'm still gonna use this lip combo. I just, I, that lip liner, it just ruined everything for me. So I was thinking about leaving this um, matte, but I'm thinking I wanna use, y'all know the little lip glosses we used to use back in the day? This one is from the beauty supply store. Okay, y'all, so this is the finished drugstore look. I definitely think there were some ups and downs. I can tell you one thing for sure. This foundation, this might be, I like this. I like you. I'm going to keep you. I guess I like Maybelline because everything that I picked up was pretty much Maybelline. I didn't even realize that. Pretty much everything. And all of my favorite products that I used today were from Maybelline. The Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless Foundation, the Loose Powder and the Pressed Powder, they bust. Like, I just think I need a darker color in the um, Maybelline Fit Me Loose Powder. But all in all, I think my makeup looks really good. This blush, I'm kind of disappointed in. It just wasn't pigmented enough. And I feel like I had to pack on so much of it to just get the smallest bit of color and still had to go over it with a powder uh, blush. I think I'm just, like I said, I'm, in every video, I literally always am a blush and a bronzer whore. I require a lot of blush and a lot of bronzer. Speaking of bronzer, the um, Black Radiance Pressed Powder that I use for bronzer, I actually did like that too. Not too bad, not too bad, but nothing to run home and tell about. Um, but I definitely say if you're gonna pick up anything out of all the things that I showed y'all today, definitely get the foundation and the two powders. Yes, that's my story and I'm sticking to it. All right guys, thank y'all so, so much for watching. Um, I really did have fun playing in makeup. I love makeup, so whether it's high-end, low-end, drugstore, um, black-owned, you know, whatever the case may be, I love makeup and I'm always down to try makeup and just have a good time. All by myself in my room. <laughs> With nowhere to go. <laughs> Before you leave, make sure you go ahead and click that subscribe button. If you like content like this, go ahead and give me a thumbs up and leave a comment down below. I will see y'all in the next one.